161. You've had to explain what you were wearing to a stranger all the time. 162. You've spoken to a stranger who had a good idea about what you were wearing without you having to explain it to them. Yes, it's so refreshing when someone actually knows what I'm wearing. 163. You've had to explain to someone that Lolita fashion is not related to the book. Uh, yeah, it gets pretty awkward. 164. You've been called a princess by small children. Yes, and it's the cutest thing ever. 165. Old ladies have complimented you and remarked how nice it is to see young people dress so nicely. <laughs> yes. 166. You've been called by a non-anime fictional character's name, such as Bo Peep or Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yes. And Barbie. Often, um, teenage boys in my city walk by singing, I'm a Barbie girl. You have been asked what you were cosplaying as or compared to an anime character. Uh, yes. Whenever someone asks who I'm cosplaying, I just say, I'm cosplaying myself. 168. You've been asked if you were in a play. Yes, in a museum bathroom while fixing my makeup of all places. 169. You've been called a nasty name, insulted or harassed while wearing the leader. Uh, unfortunately, yes. 170. You've had a stranger stand up for you while being called a nasty name, insulted or harassed while wearing the leader. Uh, yes, I think so. 171. You've taken Lolita outfit snaps. Yes. 172. You've travelled to a fancy looking place just to take outfit snaps. Guilty! 173. You've shared your Lolita outfit snaps on a page dedicated to photos of Lolita cohorts such as Closet of Frills. Yes. 174. You've had a stranger ask if they can take a photo of you. Yes. 175. You've refused a stranger's request to take a photo of you with your refusal being respected. Uh, yes. 176. You've had a stranger take a photo of you without permission all the time. I just, I have an eye for it now. I can just spot a camera a mile away. 177. You've challenged a stranger taking a photo of you without permission and successfully got them to delete the photo or apologize. Um, I've challenged it. Whether or not they delete the photo is a different matter. So I'm gonna have to say no for that one. 178. You've taken a photo of a stranger taking a photo of you without permission as an act of retaliation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can be so passive aggressive when I want to be. 179. You've had photos taken of you in Lolita by a professional photographer. Uh, yes, I think so. 180. You've modelled in Lolita for a photo shoot by a professional photographer. Uh, yes, once, a few years ago. 181. You're a member of online Lolita communities. Yes. 182. You're active in online Lolita communities. Um, I wouldn't say I'm super active. 183. You mod an online Lolita community. No. 184. You mod an online community of over a thousand members. No. 185. You visited EGL Live Journal. No. 186. You have an account on EGL Live Journal. No. 187. You've attended a meetup. Yes. 188. You've attended a tea party meetup. Oh, I live for tea party meetups. I love tea party meetups. 189. You've travelled multiple hours to attend a meetup. Oh yes, I'm that dedicated. <laughs> 190. You've met up with Lolitas while on holiday abroad. Uh, no, sadly. 191. You've hosted a meetup. Yes. 192. You've hosted a themed meetup. Uh, no. 193. You've hosted over six meetups. Uh, I don't think so. 194. You've hosted a meetup with over 20 attendees. There aren't even that many Lolitas in my area. 195. You've been to a Lolita swap meet. Yes. 196. You've thrown a Lolita party. I did ask my Lolita wearing friends to come to my birthday party wearing Lolita, but the party itself wasn't exclusively Lolita, so that's a no. 197. You've had a Lolita wedding or worn Lolita to your wedding. I definitely want to get married in Lolita, but... At the moment, I'm gonna have to skip that point because it hasn't happened yet. 198. You've attended a brand sponsored tea party. Uh, no. 199. You've attended a large scale Lolita event or convention. No. 200. You've been on staff at a large scale Lolita event or convention. No. 201. You've been to a Lolita panel at a convention. No. 202. You've hosted your own panel at a convention. No. 203. You ran a Lolita stall at a multi genre convention. No. 204, you've participated in a Lolita Award competition. No. 205, you've won a Lolita Award competition. No. <laughs> I feel so inexperienced. 206, you've won Best Dressed at a Lolita event. No. 207, you've seen a Lolita fashion show. No. 208, you've modelled in a Lolita fashion show. No. 209, you've seen a brand fashion show. No. 
210, you've modelled in a brand fashion show. Oh no, that would be amazing though. 211, you've sold handmade Lolita items. No. 212, you have your own Lolita clothes and accessory line. No. 213, you've hosted your own brand's fashion show. No. 214, you've visited a shop that sells Lolita fashion items, among others. Uh, no, I visited a Lolita fashion store, but not a store with Lolita fashion items, amongst other items. 215, you visited a Lolita shop. Yes. 216, you traveled to another country just to buy from Lolita shops. Yes, back in 2017, I went to Paris with friends just so we could visit the Angelic Pretty store. 217, you visited multiple world locations at the same brand store. Yes, I visited Angelic Pretty in both Tokyo and Paris. 218, you're friends with a brand shop girl. No. Any brand shop girls out there want to be my friend? <laughs> 219, you are a brand shop girl. No. Any brand shop girls out there want to give me their job? <laughs> 220, you're a brand store manager. <laughs> no. 221, you run a Lolita blog. No. 222, you create Lolita art. No. 223, your blog or art page has over 100 followers. No. 224, you have over a thousand followers on your Lolita social media platform. Uh, I don't use it solely for Lolita, but I do have over a thousand Instagram followers, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that point. 225, you've created and posted a Lolita related tutorial. No. 226, you've started a trend that others have followed. No. 227, you've become a Lolita mentor. No. 228, you've been recognized by someone who follows you online. Uh, yes, it's happened a few times and it brightens my day every time. 229, you've been recognized by someone for something negative they know about you from a secondhand store. Stores. A secondhand stores. <laughs> 229, you've been recognized by someone for something negative that they know about you from a secondhand source, such as scandals or drama, an argument or ruffle chat, misconduct at a meet or event. Uh, thankfully, no. <laughs> I don't think I've done anything that would qualify as that. At least I hope I haven't. 230. You've been recognized by someone who is not into Lolita, but, but has seen your photograph or video through non-Lolita media. Uh, I think so. And that's the end of the quiz. Yay! <laughs> Tallying up my score, I can see that I have... Drum roll, please. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba ba 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 101 out of 230 points. That's not too bad. Given how many points I've scored, I can now see where my place in the Lolita hierarchy is. My result is... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da ba ba Uh, Lolita. Your run-of-the-mill Lolita. Well, that was anticlimactic. Let's see what it says. You've blossomed from the newbie bud and become a Lolita. No adjectives needed. Although, if you really want one, you could probably call yourself well-rounded or experienced. By now, your wardrobe allows you for enough room for versatility and experimentation without having to constantly get new main pieces, unless you want to, of course. You've also amassed your fair share of experiences such as attending meetups, meeting people and engaging with Lolita media such as printed magazines. If you want to keep improving, consider saving some purchases for later to allow for a trip to a Lolita event or abroad to shop. Now may also be a good time for you to start giving back to the community by organising a meetup yourself or volunteering to help at an event. Alternatively, think about how you can engage with Alita more on a daily basis through clothes as well as hobbies. Well, that's good to know. So there's my result. I am your everyday, average, run-of-the-mill Alita. And that sounds about right for me. Well, thank you, kittens, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my taking of the Lolita Level Up quiz. And if you take the quiz yourself, let me know how many points you got in the comments below, okay? Let me know if you got a higher score than me. Remember, the link to the quiz is in the description below. So thank you, kittens, so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. For now, bye-bye!